Um, this is a poor intellectual back poem. And this is a poem about Alvarez greed, rapacity, you know, about someone who is pretty greedy to the point where he destroys himself in the process. Okay, um, so here we go. Dead inside. The countryside is now free from British tyranny. The world has heard our voice that we are free. We are going to celebrate with much pride, caring more for what is in and not outside. What is outside but an untamed salvage wilderness, nothing in which a mother can show tenderness. It is our land that gives us hope and freedom. The endless fields of corn that gives us much and some. But that endless curiosity from outside makes us wonder. But what do we think of what we accomplish in British blunder? Flags of our fathers waving proudly in the sky. This land is ours, in which we fought for till we die. The hills of golden apples, the land of flowing rivers. But what of the border that has unknown that makes me quiver? I stop to think of what I have and how I want more. But what is out there? What opens this mysterious door? So I implore with much satisfaction, we must go out further still, as the moon comes out of the clouds in the night sky and the window sill. It shines a light that opens up the valleys up to a bountiful exploration, the thrill of finding out more about the world without savage deportation. But it's occupied by a ruthless savage with no civil upbringing. As the winter cold shows my vapor breath with the painful chest stink. I know now what to do to rid the land of these vagrants, to show false belittlements and begin to give items of my unique fragrance. The perfume is what is what is within me that gives me a pleasurable scent. The scent is a combination of lust, purity, and greed that some would resent. The snow is about to fall as we huddle together for some warmth and comfort. The sheets off a dying man's bed whose self just came to port. From a country that the living dead walk only to die in their beds. It's pale, sick, crippled from the disease simply to walk around until they're dead. The bodies burn to a crisp as the scent of the perfume goes up in smoke. They sometimes drop dead and some breathing it to choke. The living dead walk the earth in constant pain till we wait for the reaper. The skin is pale, phlegm comes up until they drown themselves, need I go deeper? I give these savage gifts much like a Trojan horse. The soldiers and shies are the true killers without any remorse. The walls of Troy will soon fall under our will. The spoils were taken from the dead or the very ill. I wait many months till my greed overtakes my ambition. I ride my trusty seed deeper in the forest on my intuition. The moonlight is my beacon as I pass the apple orchard which I saw from a boat. I ride faster as I pass many animals that can provide me for a coat. I whip the horse harder until I pass the river the valley gorges afar. I pass the cornfield that I see following through the north star. My greed builds up into me as I see all these things for myself alone. I see someone sitting calmly and majestically on a giant stone. I stop my horse in anger for someone to survive my Trojan horse. I look at him as a chieftain with wrinkles, feathers, and skin that is coarse. I look down to him on my steed with strange attention. I look at my knife to ease my anger and frustration. He's emotionless and stares at me like something not alive. The anger and the act anything that not knows disease could survive. Murder is a funny thing in a man's life. It eases the soul and really turns problems and strife. I look up again and realize he has gone illusion, that is all. I cough slightly in my throat, sweating like a cold waterfall. I ride past everything I want as I ride like the devil himself. I try to escape it, but no one can, even with a multitude of wealth. I ride past the corn, apples, animals, gorges, and all of America's wonder. I think of all the fighting along the Delaware and Fort Sumter. All those men died like a plague in my system. I walk along the cabins as I cough up yellow phlegm. We were all walking dead as I buried my family tree, my little son, my wife, my daughter, and finally me. Was it the fever showing that the little man, saying that this was his land, 
As my corp burns in the air, my wrongs corrected. The whole colony is affected. The living dead now walk to touch each other like accursed cadavers. I think about the corn, apple, land, and furs. We live only to die and die only to live. It's not what we take yet, but what we get. Okay. Hope you like this gothic horror piece. Um, uh, this is uh, the Poor Intellectual Poet House.